So I've come out today and I thought we'd have a ride down Scarborough Seafront. It was thick fog earlier on, but at the moment it's just starting to clear and the sun's coming out, which is a bit of a bonus. <laughs> If anybody recognises this spot, it's um, a brilliant... <laughs> Can't see any of Scarborough because of the fog. If anybody recognises this spot, it's a brilliant little car park. It's free. Um, it's one of the only free car parks in Scarborough. So you can stay here a few hours. God, it's just thick fog. So what you should be seeing now if you look straight ahead is the views all over Scarborough Bay, Scarborough Spa and Scarborough Town and the Castle, but unfortunately we're not. All right. God I'll be glad when I get my new brakes. Bloody terrible. Listen to that. Not good at all. God. God, they're bloody terrible. <laughs> Just up there there's what, what they call, well that bit what sticks out, is what they call the star disc and it's got all fibre optic lights in it and they represent the stars in the sky and you line it up to north which is a little church, I think it, they call it St... No, it's, I forget what they call it anyway, it's by the castle and then there's various lines going round this star disc and you line yourself up with these lines, look at the stars, and then that's what they were supposed to look like on a particular date, going back in time. So it's a bit like a, a time machine for the stars. I don't really want to go down here because of these dogs my brakes. God, they're terrible. God, they are terrible. Let's see if I can get through this. soft my brakes all started squealing when I was in the forestry I best give them um, I could clean when I get home but I'm upgrading me go on go on go on I'm upgrading my brakes anyway. I've ordered some bits. This is all the star disc. I'll go up and have a look at it. So it's all this circle here, and there's all fibre optic lights in it. These are all dates on these little metal plates around the outside 9th of February 20th of January true north let's have a look at the instructions also oh, long time since I've been
Oh, you can't read it, it's all very faded. Never mind. soft. Oh, let's go down here. It's gonna look it's gonna look down here. This in the mist up here, this is all Scarborough Spa. They have lots of conventions there and dances and sci-fi conventions, orchestras. Bit of an entertainment spot.
that tramway going up the cliff that's one of the funiculars you pay your money at the bottom and it's like a horizontal um, train carriage there's one at the top and one at the bottom and they have water tanks underneath them so the one at the top when it wants to come down they fill it full of water and it's the gravity it pulls the top one down it takes the top one down and it pulls the bottom one up there used to be a few of them in Scarborough but they've taken some out there's this one and one further up now they've just done up all the gardens at the back of the spa the Italian gardens and absolutely beautiful and when they were doing it they uncovered a tunnel in the cliffs where people you know Victorian times used to go through anyway they've done it all up and left it open now so people can go through <laughs> This big hotel in front in the mist used to belong to Billy Butlin, Butlin's Hotels and at one time it was the biggest brick built structure in Europe and during World War II Hitler gave instructions for this hotel not to be bombed by the Luftwaffe because if he um, captured England that was going to be his base so it survived the war <laughs> and there's something to do with the calendar, um, I forget exactly, but it's like 365 windows, four turrets on the top for the seasons. Um, there's 52 something, I forget what it is. 12 floors for the months. But if you Google it, it it's all on the internet. And it's been voted Britain's worst hotel on a number of occasions, because it's supposed to be quite tacky inside <laughs> very run down let's say needs needed a lot of money spending on it god i'm glad there's no slope so i don't have the squealing brakes <laughs> the fact they don't like stopping for bikes They just put this, they put this, um, oh, what do you call that wheel? You know what I mean, big wheel, in here a few years ago, and there was uproar from a lot of the locals because people are saying, why would they pay money to go up in that when you can just go up the hill at the back? You can go stand up there and have exactly the same view. <laughs> I've renovated a couple of buildings down here over the years. I built an amusement arcade at Far End. I did Scarborough Rowing Club along here and the shops underneath. And a big block of flats behind uh, Terror Tower. Won an award for that, for the best refurb in North Yorkshire. It was a lot of years ago. Get over here and look at some boats. It's 
Scabaraba. There's a ship up here. Um, I'm gonna say it's all whoop, it's all down because of the tide, and it was it took part in all the Dunkirk evacuations, getting all the soldiers away from Dunkirk. It's white first white one, white and blue one. It's a shame the tide's so low; you just can't see it. One of the famous little ships. This is it, the Regal Lady. Well, what a shame you can't see it. down there because of all the people. I'm just showing inside this boat window. Get straight of that down there. <laughs> That's it. Building in front with the pointy roof, that's one of the old toll gates for Marine Drive when it was very first built, Victorian times. There was a toll booth here at this end and one at the other end. So then they'd obviously charge everybody 